reaction to television is overwhelming his wife. We have 10 different TVs in our home. Night, day, they're on. Can Steve convince him to tune out the tube before it's too late? Now, if you're willing to part with all your TV sets, then I'm willing to give you this right here. This... Financial aid is available for those who qualify. By attorneys Howard Skolnick and Larry Weiser. Now they've joined as the Skolnick Weiser Law Firm to help with Social Security, workers' compensation, and personal injury. 216-861-8880. Rebuilding lives. Listen to this. Now, most of us watch a couple hours of television every day, but imagine living with someone who sat in front of the two non-stop. Non-stop. My next guest says that she loves a man, but he's addicted to TV. Take a look. Hi, Steve. My name is Rhea. I love and adore my husband, Marcus, but I know that he is completely addicted to television. Sometimes I feel like, no. Most of the time, I feel like he loves the television a little bit more than me. It's my baby. That's the TV. That's the baby. We have 10 different televisions in our home. We have one in each room. He'd have more, but we ran out of rooms. TVs are constantly on in our home. We even sleep with them on. It's even affecting our kids now. It's gotten so bad that instead of going out and playing with their friends, they'd rather stay inside and watch shows with their dad. Marcus thinks it's quality family time, but it's not. We need to turn off the TVs, go outside and play, or have a vacation. Steve, can you please bring our family together and get my husband disconnected from the TV? All right, everybody, please welcome Rhea and her husband, Marcus. Okay, Rhea. Okay, just how bad is the problem? Steve, it's ridiculous. We have 10 different TVs in our home. Night, day, they're on. When we're asleep, they're watching us. Okay, Marcus, let me ask you. What is a custom TV, and what does it do? What it is, is when I leave the room, the TV stops, and it, like, gives you an alarm, like a car alarm. So my other kids don't knock down the TV or anything like that. So I need that type of feature in my... Well, he has facial recognition on one of the TVs, and it drives my three-year-old nuts. Because when he leaves the room and she goes up to the TV or tries to touch the TV, the whole screen goes black, and it says to back away from the TV. It's like an alarm. It, Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. It cost me three grand. Trust Three grand? Three grand, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had to have the best. But well, why is having this... Fancy TV, Marcus. Why is this so important? The thing is, I want the best picture quality. Like, when you watch a um, LED television compared to an LCD TV, like, you have more viewing angles. Yeah. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when I got that HCT TV and then I put that <laughs> LED light on it, and I just went to, I just went to PEE. <laughs> regret giving him LASIK eye surgery because if we had not done so, oh, you he would be half blind and maybe he wouldn't see all these things with the TV. Wait, there you go. You got him LASIK eye surgery? Yes. What started this whole issue with the TVs and what really got me to realize how much of an addiction he had was one of his babies. That's not a real baby in our house. <laughs> got scratched. It was it's this small microscopic scratch that most people would not notice. But he sees it every time he looks at it and he drives us all crazy because he's like, my TV is damaged, my baby. I can't clean it off. And he's calling Sony. Who scratched the TV? My eight-year-old. I'll be damned. Yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me that that, that face recognition. Did not pick her up in time. Yep. Yep. Right. It's not him. Step away from the TV. Step away from the TV. Right. Do you understand why your wife is a little concerned here? I do. 
but we don't have a fenced in backyard and we normally watch TV inside the house. I feel that it's like safer for them to be inside the house and we can me to maintain what's going on in the house because I'm a stay at home father. The TV helps you mom. raise the kids. Not not really raise them, watch. but it gives me an fun. opportunity to grab something when I need to grab something for the other kid and then move. It's to, his fun. It, uh uh, don't let him fool you. It's his actual <laughs> fun. This man takes the TV manuals and in his spare time all the babes are sleeping. I'm trying to cuddle up and talk to them, have a conversation. He is reading a TV manual back to back and interested in it. He's like, oh, you know this TV can do this here. He will grab his tablet. He knows how to change. He was changing the TVs back in your green room, the setting with his tablet. He was programming it for so a clear picture. We got these, we got everybody using green room. Just ain't like your house. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing in here in the back? <laughs> Let me ask something. Did you have full TV access when you were growing up as a kid? Yeah, I actually did. I had a 20 inch, 32 inch, a 36 inch, and there was an apex. Okay. So you married this problem. He is. You thought these kids would come along, <laughs> pull him away from the TV. No, that's not it. I sat to him watching TV and loving technology like he does. It's just the fact that he started turning our babies into couch potatoes, techie couch potatoes, excuse okay, me. Okay, I got you. I got you. When my eight-year-old goes over to her friend's house, I was told by the mom that she told her friend that, you know, your TV is too blurry. Let's go over to my house and watch this movie because I have a high quality Blu-ray player and LCD screen. My TV is a flat screen. My picture is a lot clearer, so we can go over there and watch this movie. So you got the kids flexing over other people's houses. But they <laughs> <laughs> and that flexes you, Daddy. <laughs> no. She's saying that you're making the kids couch potatoes. They can't go outside, you say, because you don't have a fence. You ain't got no fence because you spent three thousand damn dollars on the TV. <laughs> three grand, mm -hmm. three thousand dollars. How to get a fence around most houses I done seen. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do. Up next, uh, I got a plan to help Marcus uh, crush his addiction. We'll just help you crush it. <laughs> we'll see what it is right after okay. this. Don't worry about it. It's yeah. nothing. Don't even worry about it. I need you. If you are injured in a research... Call 1-800-HURT-NOW or visit knrlegal.com. Alright, uh, I'm back with Rhea who says she loves her husband Marcus, but this guy is addicted to TV and it has got to stop. So, Marcus, let's see how much... TV really means to you. I see you holding your wife's hand. I, w I want you to take a look outside. With your wife's help, uh, we bought in all 10 of your TVs. <laughs> and as you can see, we got a garbage truck that's ready to smash the TVs to bits. In fact, four of your TVs are already in the truck. So you, you can choose to save them a few at a time, but if you do, you're going to be giving up something really, really big. See, we talked to your wife, real, and it's like she said in tape. What she really liked is a really, really nice family vacation with no TV so you can all enjoy each other's company and spend quality family time together. Now, if you're willing to part with all your TV sets, then I'm willing to give you this right here. <laughs> first we're gonna give you a brand new family summer wardrobe from Bowden USA <laughs> Bowden USA that's the entire the entire family gets an entire summer wardrobe and then you get a stunning set of Samsonite luggage to take with you <laughs> All of that 
gets to go on a family trip to the tropical island paradise of Aruba. Okay, we're gonna start by crushing just four of your little TVs. Then the clothes from Bowden are yours. So, Rhea, what do you think? They small, get rid of them. No, no, no. I gotta ask Marcus. I gotta ask Marcus. Marcus, can we crush the four small TVs? Yeah. I love you. <laughs> All right, now we can toss three more TVs in the truck. And then if we toss three more in, all of the family gets Samsonite Lift 2 collection luggage. Three more TVs. Rhea, what do you think? He looked like he about to cry. He's squeezing my hand all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it for my wife. You do it for your wife. All right, three more TVs get demolished, fellas. Okay. Okay. Close your eyes, baby. Close your eyes. It's okay. All right. I'm good. Aruba. Aruba. All right. I, I know this is, we got the last set of three. This is your baby right here. This one is the one that you've been crying about with the little scratch on it. But now here's the deal. If you let them all go, then you're headed on a six-day trip to the spectacular Rupert Marriott Resort and Stellaris Casino on the white sands of Palm Beach, Aruba. Marcus? Yeah, I mean, you can't go with luggage and no trips. So. I love you. <laughs> I love you, baby. All right, garbage man, go ahead. That's all of them. Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes, baby. Just close it. Your family's going on a wonderful trip to Aruba. Yes, I love you. Hey, folks, good luck. We'll be right back. Coming up next, Steve found the internet's most outrageous twerking clips.